Hiya there and welcome to Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Right, what we'll be talking about today is the 1967 Repulse submarine. A member of the first class of four ballistic missile submarines constructed for the Royal Navy during the mid-1970s. In 1962, the British government decided against considerable controversy to transfer the responsibility for maintaining the nation's nuclear deterrent from the British Royal Air Force to the Royal Navy, committing itself in the process to nuclear ballistic missile submarines. The first class of such boats was to be the, based loosely on the American ones, with British machinery and equipment armed with the US produced Polaris missiles and with the launch and control systems supplied by the US. HMS Repulse or also known as the S-23 was the third of what was to be a five boat class. HMS Ramillies was cancelled before she was begun. Constructed by Vickers Armstrong at Barrow in Furness she was laid down on the 12th of March 1965. She was launched on the 4th of November 1967 and completed on the 28th of September 1968. She was decommissioned in 1995 and laid up pending a decision as to her disposal. Repulse had the same pressurised water-cooled nuclear machinery as the Valiant class attack submarines which were built around the same time. Her 15,000 horsepower turbines giving her a top submerged speed of 25 knots. Due to the fact that submarines make waves the primary cause of speed loss in a ship when travelling on the surface but not when submerged she was 5 knots slower when surfaced. The main difference between the British and the American boomers lay in the location of the diving planes. The Lafayettes had theirs on the fin. The Resolutions had theirs at the bow. The American choice was determined by a belief that bow-mounted planes interfered more with some sonar performance, though they made for difficulties in surfacing through the ice pack. They later adopted the British practice. The HMS Repulse, she was a nuclear ballistic missile submarine. She had a one-shaft, one shaft one PR1 reactor supplying two geared steam turbines producing 15,000 SHP plus an auxiliary diesel producing 4,000 brake horsepower. She had a length of 129.5 meters or 425 feet. She had a beam of 10.1 meters or 33 feet. She had 143 staff. She had a speed of 20 knots when surfaced or 25 knots when submerged. Renown limited only by crew endurance had a maximum of a 400,000 miles range which is pretty good actually. As I say she had a speed of 25 knots which was good to very good and she had a 15,000 SHP. She wasn't as good as the Leninettes of the USSR, which were incredible submarines, but she was better than the American.